welcome to this week's Desmond Stoners. And this week we're at Clacktoll meeting up with Posh Cats. On the road there, it was dark, but the dash cam managed to pick out this stag and a little later two hinds beside the road. As sights don't allow late arrivals, and I mean late, we stopped the night at a lovely viewpoint. Unfortunately, the weather stopped us seeing the view. But this is the run in to the site from that viewpoint. I've slowed everything down back to normal speed so that as we pass this lochan you get an idea of just how bad the weather was. Here's an example of how not to use a passing place. This motorhome was parked and they were walking. Here we are arriving at the site. Site arrival procedures were a little different to what we'd normally expect but then it is a long time since we've been on the dark side. All checked in, we find we have to three point turn and head to a slightly different part of the site. But we're kind of lucky as we have a reception committee waiting for us through the gate. But let's get settled in and have a quick look around. But we're not here just for the scenery, we're also here to meet up with posh cats, Treb and Sue. I've got to be in. Oh, <laughs> that means we have to move back this way. No, you don't! I've already set the shot up! I've got a blooper reel now. <laughs> 
<laughs> More <No>. evidence! <laughs> <laughs> We had a great weekend, chatting and enjoying what little the weather allowed us to see. It was great to meet up and we'll certainly do this again. I do hope Lindsay's not giving directions. We may never see anybody again. Because of the state of the weather and yours truly's bad back, I didn't get to see much outside the site. But given better weather and a better back, this is a lovely place and I'm sure we'll be back to explore it when the weather is better. All too soon, it was time to say goodbye. And while the Posh Cats gang headed north, Lindsay and I returned to the viewpoint to try and see the view, and then it was time to head for home. We decided we'd head back via Shin Falls. The views here must have been spectacular. It's a shame we didn't have the weather to see things as they should be. On arrival at Chin Falls, we had some lunch and then Lindsay headed down to try and capture some salmon in the river. The falls were high, but she did manage. Let's view it in quick time and then roll it back and slow it down. While the falls themselves produce the goods, the same can't be said 
of our disappointing launch. Shin Falls is no longer community owned and the company that taking it on has a lot to learn. watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.